Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, I am here to give you a little nightly energy check, right? I wasn't able to do it last night, guys, because um, I was with my son. He had an accident, and I had to take care of my boy, okay? But um, I'm back with you now, all right? And uh, everything is good. My my boy's home with me. We, we were in the hospital, but um, hopefully... His wrist will be fine. He broke his wrist in a skating accident, guys. Um, but he's he's back home now. But I'm spending a lot of time with them because, you know, it's what I do, right? You, the kids come first. So I missed out on last night's reading. So let's jump right back in. Okay, Cancer. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. And uh, thank you, Cancer, so, so much for everything. Your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, all the love. You guys send me so much love. And thank you so, so much for being so good to me. Um, all right, Divine, what can you show Cancer? What messages do you have for Cancer? What messages do you have for Cancer? We're using my little Martian deck. You guys know I love the Martian deck. Okay. Feeling safe, wisdom keeper. Um, I feel like you're the wise one here, and you know what I'm kind of feeling like here? Honestly, Cancer. Uh, and they're sending me images of it to you, by the way. Meg. From Family Guy. Yeah, Meg from Family Guy. You know the one that they would always kind of push away. The one who is different in the family, right? That's a good that's a good thing to just like remember that part. Different from the rest of the family. And and they they thought that she was like not good enough, okay? But here the whole time she was different from the rest of the family because the rest of the family were a bunch of knobs. Um, the rest of the family didn't know what they were doing, okay? Um, and uh, she was always the one who was kind of the voice of reason. And I feel like that's where you are here. You're a wisdom keeper, okay? Um, you're out here sort of on your own. I, I kind of feel like you're, people are looking at you like you're different, uh, maybe they, they aren't comfortable around you. You seem to have this bubble around you, but I feel like it's because you're the different one, okay? Um, but you're the wise one. You actually have more wisdom than what they can see, okay? Um, and here you are. This is part of your destiny. You're wise because, um, and magic, magical too as well. You know, somebody could be doing some magic on you, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm just feeling this whole people looking at you like you're different from everyone else. And there's this bubble like they do, they can't get in it. You know what I mean? It's like, but at the same time, at the same time, Cancer, um, they're looking at you like you should conform. All right. They want you to be like the others. All right. But look, like I said, everybody else in Family Guy was kind of a knob. And these people aren't thinking for themselves. Okay? So there's somebody um, either in your family or around you. or It could be anybody that you know, really. Uh, it could be everybody that you've turned away. It seems like you're separating yourself from people. Or, you know... I feel like they want you to join them, but their way. See how it almost feels like you're on this conveyor belt going into a brainwashing machine. Do you see what I'm saying? But you're 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 just different from them. They're diff you're different from them. You can see it, they can see it, everybody can see it, because this is part of your destiny. I think you're supposed to be different from them. You hold a lot of wisdom. You know, wisdom that you get from being spiritually led. Wisdom that you get from all the messages that you're getting from the divine. All your spirit guides here. Okay, so you are different. But I feel like, in a way, it kind of makes you feel like the Meg. Right? The one who gets put down. The one who gets 
shoved in a corner or pushed out or, you know, treated like you don't know what you're talking about when in all actuality, you're the one who does know what you're talking about and the rest of them are just thinking like everyone else hooked up to these little incubator machines, whatever those are, cloning devices. They're just clones, but not you. You're different, you know? Maybe be proud of being the Meg. You're actually the one who stands out as the voice of reason, the one who's the most wise. You probably have um, answers to, th to questions they haven't even thought of yet, okay? You do. You have answers to questions they haven't even thought of yet because you have sight. Because you have um, uh, intuition. Your third eye, right? And this is part of your destiny. This is who you are. This is how God created you. That's how I'm seeing this. It's like a creation. It says movement, travel, excitement. That You know, this could bring... A move in your direction because you're realizing here that I, I just feel like this isolation here is people just watch you and not like what you're saying what you're doing or anything really some of them don't like anything about you they just want you because it's it's just because you're not a clone of them that's all it is you're not a clone of them you have sight okay all right, what can you show me for cancer? Yeah, I'm feeling like you're the Meg. You know, I'm seeing that scene from one of the episodes where they're trying to um, work on a play or something. And, and Meg comes up with some great ideas, and they go and they talk about her behind her back for a while, a bad mouth her, and then they boot her out of the group. And that's kind of how you may feel treated by this people when... In all actuality, Cancer, you're the one who has all the answers to questions they haven't even freaking thought of yet. All right, what can you show me for Cancer? Yeah, they're just upset because you're different. You think different, you, you, and you're yourself. Look, you're yourself. You want to wear these pants? They're, they're cute on you. Wear the pants. They want you to wear that uniform, right? Or be in this incubator, right? No, you're going to step out wearing the... I think it's a cute outfit. You know, I like how you've decorated your place. You know what I mean? Think about it. I love what you're doing here. But these people don't... I feel like it's multiple people. Like I said, since I'm getting that... Um, uh, family guy it could be like some of your family okay it doesn't have to be though it could be anyone I kind of get the feeling that it's pretty much everyone I feel like it is some family it is some friends it is some exes yeah I think it's kind of everyone and here this is another thing that reminds me of Meg right you can be thinking of great ideas you can be in here and nobody pays attention to you Right? They don't they don't know how to get through this bubble to you. You're you're past them. You're past these people. Okay? You're way past them. That's another reason why you may feel like a Meg. <laughs> you know? And she's the voice of reason. She's the one who's intelligent. Okay? <laughs> You know, but that's what it is. That was on the bottom of the deck, too. See, they're angry. They, it's almost like they want to lash out at you, or they're going to treat you like crap. Or, um, you know, they're, this is survival tactics. That's what this is. That's just survival tactics, you know? Because I feel like these people know that you're speaking some wise shit stuff. Sorry. Some wise stuff, okay? But they're not, um, <laughs> I can't believe I just swore. Yeah, but you are. You're speaking real things, opening people's minds, and they just don't like it. 
they know that if you can prove you're smarter than them, they're jumping into survival techniques now. Like I said, maybe being really rude to you, maybe trying to be vindict vindictive, you know, it says predator, tyrannical, tyrannical, yeah, they, they want to rule. Um, they want to bring this down. And, you know, here's the thing. You've got foresight here. That means you can pre-plan. You, know you know what steps they're going to take next because you know these kind of people. Okay, you're wise, remember? You're smart. You know, you know these kind of people. So you can come up with a strategy before these people can even really get out of the incubator, you already know what they're going to do, okay? Before the clones come, you know what's going to happen. You're going to handle them just like the other clone, okay? And the one before that. <laughs> yeah, because you like, um, you know, you're on this journey, right? You're on this journey where you're learning about the 3D and the 5D and the spiritual aspect of everything, right? And you're coming across all these huge understandings of things that they haven't really, they don't even want to dive into it. They just don't like it that you're different from them. You know, and this is where your foresight comes in, your intuition, you know, like that, like I said, it's part of your destiny, that third eye. All right, what else can you show me here for cancer? Yeah, so I feel like you're being treated like Meg from Family Guy, but it's only because you are different from these people. You're wise. You're wise in a spiritual way, in a lot of ways. Um, you're, in a lot of ways, you're smarter than these people. They're just cloning themselves. And you aren't conforming. You are not conforming. All right, what can you show me for cancer? Reading between the lines and intuition. That's what I'm talking about. Read between the lines with these people. Like, that's what I'm saying. You, you already know what their tactics are going to be, right? You know what they're going to say. You know what they're going to think already. You could be working on any new project. You already know what they're going to think about it before you even launch it. You could have a big event coming up, and you already know how these people are going to treat you before the event happens. You know these people. You know these people not just with your intuition, but just by experience. And so you're able to pre-plan here. You know, you're able to... Uh, at least pre-plan and strategize how you're, how you're going to react to them, okay? Um, but yeah, that's reading between the lines. That's reading between the lines. You know? All right, let's see. What else do I want? What do I want? I guess I'll just do tarot. Let's just, let's just put tarot on it, okay? <laughs> But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, and you, you know, if these people are going to lash out because they're tyrannical and they're using survival techniques, I feel like you're reading between the lines that you know, you know exactly that, you know, you can, like, you can be in a room looking away and you know that they may be looking in another direction, but their eyeball is on you. You see that? There, I, you already know. You're reading between the lines. You can read these people. You can read their energy. I, I think you know who it is that I'm talking about. How can you not? You're out here being all intuitive and stuff. So, yeah. All right. What else can you show me here for cancer? What can you show me for cancer? Clarify this predator. Clarify reptilians. <laughs> yeah.
You know, I'm pretty sure this is one of these people that got out of the clone box, right? The clone tube. They're feeling out in the cold right now, getting angry, wanting to control. Yeah, see, that's it. They're feeling out in the cold. I feel like you, you're really not paying these people much attention because you already know what they think of you. And you already know that you're not on this path. You can inspire so many people, Cancer, but you're not going to be able to inspire everyone. And you know that your word and the, and the wisdom that you have and the messages you're receiving, you know it's smarter, as Meg, right? It's smarter to share your information with people who will actually freaking hear you. Because these people treat you like Meg. They don't want to hear you. They don't. They don't want you to be different. You're not part of the group here because I feel like you've separated yourself. You know what I mean? But some people, no matter how much you've tried to reach them with your wisdom, you just can't. You know? So I feel like you're kind of, you're, you're not really, maybe you're not leaving them behind, but you're sure not focused on them. You're turned away here, turned away here. And they're angry. They're angry. You know, and they're feeling like they've been booted now, out in the cold. You know, and now they're, they're upset. They're all up in their ego because you are not like them, right? You're not like them. You're not a clone, Cancer, right? That's what they're thinking. Cancer is not a clone. We don't like that, right? They're wanting to control the situation here with tyrannical and survival techniques. Okay, yeah, and they're, they're, they're wanting to fight. They could even be fighting amongst themselves because there's nothing they can do. You're taking your wisdom and you're going to new heights with it. And as you do that, you elevate and they're naturally kind of held back. You know, so that it's causing a big uproar here. And I don't think you're even focused on their uproar because, you know, like I said, you can't inspire them all. There are people you can and people you can't. And at some point, you, you can try to work with these kind of people, but if they're not hearing you and they just want to bring you down to their level, you have to move forward. You have to move forward and share your wisdom with others. You can't inspire them all. You know what I mean? There's got to be a Bible verse on that, guys. I don't know what it is, though, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like now these people, you could even have love for these people, okay? Um, or we could be talking about children as well. I don't think so, though. I, I, I don't know who this is. It could be family. could be friends, coworkers. It could be anybody. It could be exes. Put it where you, you know, use your discernment and put it where your life is, right? Um, take it how it resonates with you, I guess I want to say. But yeah, you're now having a come up. Here's the thing. The thing with Meg in Family Guy, right, just like this, you're a freaking leader. You're, you're, you could be a boss, business owner here. You're on a come up. You, and that takes a lot of effort, strength, dedication, loyalty to whatever you're doing to build something like this. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. You've got everything you need, everything you want. You don't need anybody. Okay, the only thing you don't have is, is that one pentacle of, of a stable love offer, right? A stable love offer. But you're all, you already have everything, and you're committed, dedicated. You are the strong one, actually, just like Meg. She had a strength about her. She did. Pushed around and pushed out and put down, but she had a strength about her. She was the one who was wise the voice of reason yeah and I feel like um, 
these people, they think about you and everything, and they love you, but they don't like you the way that you are right now. Okay, I feel like whether there's feelings involved or not, I feel like you're walking away. You, you are at least energetically walking away from these people. And um, they're not liking it. There may be one in particular that does not like it. Okay? And this is that emperor here. The one in their ego, the one who wants to control the situation. But I feel like it doesn't matter. You, you have love for these people? You do. But you're walking away. Feel like you're walking away and and you're you're gonna go put that loving healing energy back into you and everyone else who actually is following you here's that thing right these people push you away because you're accelerated you can think on your own you're spiritual you're intuitive and they're clones you're not like them. They don't like what you're saying. They don't like what you're doing. This person doesn't even like what you're wearing. And I feel like the days of you getting approval from these people is freaking over. And you're walking away. Okay? And you know what? Guess what? This handful of people, Cancer, that you're walking away from, um, they're really... Uh, in the big scheme of things, you've each one of these little stars is somebody who's watching you and loving what you're doing and agreeing with what you're saying and digging whatever they're seeing. So you know what? It, it pretty much makes these people look kind of insubstantial, doesn't it? A handful of people hating what you're doing, hating what you're saying, hating what you're believing in, hating what you're learning compared to all of these people out here who love you and may even, in fact, need to hear what you have to say. Kind of puts things into perspective. And it makes these people look like, like their opinions are insignificant. That's what I'm getting on that one. But they're trying to hang on to you anyway. I don't know. All right. What else can you show me? You're moving forward here with the chariot. You're moving forward. Yeah, see, as you go to calmer waters, you know, I feel like these people have to now stand and wait for their ships to come in. But you're taking all the wisdom with you. So I feel like they're going to wait a long time. As they see this from a new perspective, once you leave the scene, and they lose a lot, okay? But they're waiting for, for the ships to come in, those answers that you have. That's really what I'm feeling like here, guys. You're the Meg, and you know what? I think you're proud of it, and you should be. You should be. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this quick little energy check. Um, you keep doing what you're doing, and don't worry about these cloners. They're just cloners, man. Okay? You can't inspire everyone. Anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. Um, I hope this helps, and I hope it resonates. And uh, thank you so much. Um, if you guys like this video, click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. And until next time, Cancers. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Take care of you. <laughs> and peace out.